Namaste everyone. In this video, we will be solving uh, assembly. Uh, actually, we will be doing part modeling of one of the parts of the screw jack. So, in this series of videos, we will be covering all the parts. And once all the parts have been uh, modeled perfectly, we will go ahead and do their assembly. So, let's begin with this first part, which is the body part in this video. Okay, so let's proceed to do the part modeling or the base part. Uh, all the dimensions you can see have been given here. So let's open up our SolidWorks, ensure that units are changed to MMGS, then go for sketch, sketch. Choose the front plane, it will align itself. And now we have to start modeling it. So let's start from the base over here. First, we will draw the axis, which will be the center line from center to top and then we will draw this part over here so with line from here let's take a straight line here up left escape so now first put the dimensioning for this small part here itself so that uh, we will not face any problem that part so let's go ahead and take this we want diameter so when you choose the center and click on the other side we will click we'll get the diameter automatically next we need this diameter here so this is 100 this bottom one also is 100 so now let us see you see here there is a small cut like this so let's go ahead take a line from here take slightly up and then go left and then we need an inclined line so that we will have to do it fine so upward and downward both we have taken height height we have to take here so let's go with the height that is 20 and this height over here that's 3 so we should take all this and then proceed to the upper part. Upper part, you can see these two lines are. So let's take line and just touch it a little and then move like this. It will give us parallel line. Then we need a small horizontal line over here. Horizontal line over here. Don't go up. Take a horizontal line from here and join it. So this is the rough shape. Now let's put the distance till it is properly constrained. You can see this length is 40. Let's take that length as 40. Diameters, outer one is 70, inner 50. So outer diameter is 70. Inner diameter is 50. Then this diameter, the point diameter is 60 and thickness of this that is 10. So now the only thing remaining is the height, the total height of this is 185. So let's go ahead and take 185. So you can see all the lines, all the geometric lines have become black, which means it has been properly constrained. So next, go to features and click on revolve. Automatically, the cross section and axis will be detected and it will come up like this. If that's not happening, sometimes that happens. So if the axis is not chosen and also contour is not chosen and if it is not showing up here properly, then you'll have to click here in this area and then click on axis and then click here in the contour and click here on the cross section area so that will ensure the proper revolve is happening next click on the tick mark and that's it this is our part we just need to apply a few fillets here and there here at three here eight so let's take two fillets of three okay the fillet is available here so rotate it here and over here 
So for both these, we will take fillet of three. You can see it's rounded off, and uh, there is one more fillet that's here, and that's of eight mm. Let's go ahead for the fillet. Take here and give it as eight. Press enter again. So that's it. So let us save this part. Press Ctrl S for save, or just go to File Save, or you can just click this Save button over here, and then close it. In the next video, we will take up another part, and uh, till that, see you.